Sunny Vu, CEO and founder of Misfit Wearables. The first product we made is uh, the Shine. I'm wearing it right now on my lapel. It's uh, an elegant activity monitor that you can wear anywhere. I think one of the most important things uh, that I've learned over the, the last uh, several startups that I've done and the rounds that we've done of financing with different people is um, I think a couple things. One is to really plan out uh, your financing strategy uh, over the long term, not just for the upcoming round that you're trying to do. And um, how will the current structure that you're putting together, will, how will that affect the future, uh, uh, the future plans? Um, because a lot of times, you know, we're just focus us entrepreneurs, we're just focused on, on the now and trying to get the deal done. And uh, you're not thinking about the future, you, you think you're going to just deal with it later. And it's, uh, it, it can get a lot more complicated than you, than you think. Um, and, um, and so part of why I think uh, our Series B worked out well uh, and we were able to find just amazing partners was because, um, you know, we thought about it, what B would look like when we were doing even our seed round. Um, so that's one. The other is uh, just finding the right partners because uh, I, I think it's easy to say, but it is actually true that it's not just about the money. Um, you know, Feezy's will tell you that, and I would say that you should believe them. That is actually true. For us, a lot of it is if we really like the partner, it, it's, that's a big part of it. Like just personally, like they like us, we like, we like them, and we like to hang out with them. Um, that's one. Two is, do I feel that that partner is someone that I can just share stuff with without having too much of that thought? Like if something goes wrong, hmm, how am I, how am I going to spin it to investors? Like if I don't have to have that thought, then it's probably a, a right partner. Um, now, in terms of right timing, that's kind of a financial planning kind of matter. Um, but as the saying goes, if money is available, take it. In order to get stuff manufactured, you know, you're going to need, a, typically you're going to need a partner, but they're not going to want to make stuff for you unless there's volume, but you don't get volume unless you have units to ship. So, um, so there's that quandary that a lot of us hardware uh, folks have. Um, one thing that we did to address that was we did crowdfunding and pre-orders. So, and that worked, that worked beautifully. Aside from raising some money and getting some great market data, which was actually more important than the money, uh, we actually got a first order, you know, uh, 10,000 units. And so that was, so we could actually go to these makers. And, you know, often they're thinking, let me guess, you want us to make stuff for you and you don't have anything. And we said, no, no, we have 10,000 units. Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, and it, it makes the conversation a lot more simple. I'm no data sage in any way. You know, we make hardware, we make software, and that's what we focus on. Um, although I would say that my hope is that the data belongs to the user, and the one, the person who generates it, and that even the monetization of that data, uh, hopefully, will go to the the generator of that data. Um, but in the short term, I see um, a number of parties benefiting from this. I, I think it is the hope that. Uh, of generating great amounts of data and therefore insights, which can then lead to either behavior change or to uh, reimbursement even, um, or different business models. That hope is what drives a lot of the hardware template. You know, um, the hardware template, at least around here, I hear is, well, we're not gonna make a lot of money on the hardware, uh, but we will, but check out this premium software service we have, and then imagine the data. And I hope, you know, so it's reality, faith, and a lot of faith, and I'm hoping that those two pillars of faith will become kind of more reality and more everyday. You know, people are used to paying for software services these days, and hopefully that becomes more true in the health circles. And hopefully, data monetization, you know, monetization of data will also be less faith and more reality.